we have uh, 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 let us see this guy hello I think you have a bad connection are you the same person who just called me yes hello yes can you hear me yeah. what the heck you want to take soda from Muslim hold on Hello? Hi, hello, how are you doing? Uh, my name is Joseph. Um, I was, um, first of all, I would like to thank you for uh, for the call. I appreciate your time and your efforts. And I, second of all, um, i tell you how I like entered this cult when I was about 16, 17. Are you your and next Muslim? Your next Muslim? Uh, kind of, kind of, because I really entered, uh, I really entered, so I have my doubts now, like, you know, because I, I don't want to, like, disturb you, like, uh, bore you my life, I'm like, trying to make it as short as possible, no and problem. I, I, they, 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 they put in my head as in, like, you know, but when I need, like, you know, we, we, I don't have any, many, many, let's say, uh, knowledge regarding, uh, Jeshua, Jesus, and um, um, ETC. So that convinced me because I said, like, you know, okay, Allah means God in Arabic. It's the same thing, isn't it? And uh, they're talking about Moses, um, you know, um, um, Solomon, ETC. So it's like, you know, it's quite similar. Mm. So before that, I had my moral values and ethics in terms of, like, you know, integrity, being honest, ETC. And um, I took it seriously because, like, you know, I've learned, like, you know, if you don't pray, you are, even I learned the language, uh, I study Arabic and uh, uh, Kufar, like, if you don't pray, uh, uh, you're Kufar, because that's the separation between, the difference between a believer and non-believer is the Salat, if you don't pray, you're not. Mm -hmm. So I was doing it, like, you know, genuinely. So then I started to mix with people. Like, you know, because um, I'm, I'm, I'm mixed, okay, I'm, I'm been living between Spain and the UK, as you can tell by my accent, Spain yeah. and the UK. And when I moved to, in here where I live, in, in, in this island, in the, uh, the Canary Island where I'm from, um, there are a few Muslims, but they're not, I mean, well, no, Muslims by name, I call them, do you know what I mean? Muslims okay. by name, they don't, they don't follow, follow their the ideology, they are Munafi, a hypocrite, but anyways. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I moved to the UK, to a big city, more co more cosmopolitan, of course, then I started meeting people. So I was really amazed. I was thinking, whoa, uh, unity, ETC, blah, blah, blah. And I, as, as I was mixing with them, I was realizing, wow, these people, they are monafic, uh, based on, like, you know, beliefs, because, like, you know, they lie, they cheat, this and that, and I need to be racist. Right? And I don't want to be racist. So I was learning, I learned Arabic. Um, even I was married to a Syrian girl from, uh, well, Syria. They, they, have a, they have a mental problem. They have something called al-asal, which means the origin. So mm -hmm. even if you're born in France and your mother is uh, from China and your father is from uh, Mecca, uh, they say aslak Mecca, like originally you're from Mecca. That's mm -hmm. the ideology. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with the Quran nor Sahel Bukhari. None of them, but that's the ideology. I was thinking that's part of my language, but that's rubbish. But anyways, so I met this girl. Um, I knew after the experience, like you know, she just wanted like you know documents. They are they're really materialistic. Um, no offense with Arab people, but uh, in the Middle East, their religion is. Uh, I've learned from this, like you know, what passport do you have, and whether you're an engineer or not. That's what I learned from them. That the majority, not all, but the majority. And uh, I used to go to the mosque. I used to the Salat al Fajr in the mosque. I used to the, uh, what do you call it, Witr and ETC, like Sunnah, like, you know, after not Dhuhr al Aisha, like, you know, the last prayer, like in the mosque as a Sunnah. And I was really into it, mate. I was really, really into it, like, you know, really into it. Uh, not talking to women, lower my gaze, um, not talking to non Mahram. Someone doesn't know what mahram means, means like uh, no 
like you know she's not no, related no, to you me. so my friend why why you decide to leave Islam then because um after having this problem like you know i knew something called something takia takia like for them it's allowed to like some people they say to you no that's a shia there's a blood a bullshit that brainwash you then in the quran i've learned something uh uh i can give you the verse if you want me to but it's more or less about this uh, uh, a verse that it says that uh, all prophet blah 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 we we give you like you know we we made lawful like halal uh, yeah. Allah your Allah wives Allah. Mm -hmm. your wives and like you know in english uh, like you know your your your, your slave girls mm. yeah i never knew that i was shocked so basically you're allowed to have slaves and plus you're allowed to have sex with your slaves so my understanding is that if i believe well actually if you don't believe in that, you are kuffar because uh, I've learned that seven type of kuffar. If you don't agree with Allah or uh, Muhammad commandment, therefore you are kuffar. It means you you don't agree. Anyway, so if I was trying to picture myself, right? So if I uh, want to be like you know, I like you know, Muslim, well, someone who submits, I have to follow this condition. And I try to picture myself. How can I have a slave, a human being? Okay, it's not like you know, like a like a, we're talking about a living life, right? Even like a dog man has got a human, uh, has got uh, rights. How can I have sex with a woman who has a slave and maybe she doesn't want to? Mm. But you know, so, uh, okay, but well, hold on. But you see, uh, uh, the problem with this uh, is not Muhammad having sex with a slave who don't want to, because at that time, slaves have no right. This is why they are slaves. You know, so we don't want to blame Muhammad for doing something people used to do at that time. In the same time, the question is, uh, what Muhammad did, the different is, that Muhammad, he made it, it's coming from his God. You know what I mean? So he made what is not right, right. This is what I, I'm I mean, trying to help you with, because if we want to blame Muhammad for having sick with a slave, at that time, everybody do that. Yeah, but I mean, like, you know, I mean, if, if God like spreads loves and uh, equality, it is see how can God allow well, such? Islam never, never claimed that he spread uh, uh, equality, except between the believers. Even the believers, Muhammad, he had them as a slaves. Uh, uh, so, like Muhammad, when he said, uh, 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 "Don't, don't, if you wanna, like, don't have uh, uh, intercourse, which, uh, which means don't marry uh, uh, with women who they are not believing." And believe in women is better, even if she is a slave. So, oh uh, yeah, I remember that. It's like you know, even like you know, if you really, if fully enjoy with her, it's still a slave. Uh, if I never, I never, when I say slave, I was like, okay, but it's like you know, even if you like you know, an unbeliever, even if you like you know, you enjoy the like you know the, the, the company, mm. uh, and 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 I believe a slave is better than that person. I was thinking, even I forced myself. To marry because in the UK the majority of Pakistanis are Indians, so I was trying to be like you know not racist, uh, and I thought like okay I, I should marry this girl even if she's not I'm not physically attracted to her but based on uh, Allah uh, knowledge it's better for me to marry like you know a Muslim. So I was trying to do an effort. I was always having like problems. I was trying to my best to like you know be like a robot, follow the law. I don't use. Uh, don't benefit yourself, benefit uh, Allah because Allah knows the best and if you uh, fulfill Allah's uh, desire, you're going to be like, you know, successful, like uh, in life. But I was having problems, like how can you have like slaves, mate? Then I found out a um, few things like, you know, I was trying to de to defend this, but uh, um, he, he married a woman called Aisha, right? Uh, he married yeah. her with six. Yeah. Exactly, six. Then some people, they use it like, you know, I'm trying to, to, to know more about the gospel. So, because they, they use it like, no, because it, I can't remember who prophet was. Like, he married a girl when she was uh, three or two. I cannot remember. One of the prophets. So, they, they, they back up themselves with that. As in, like, you know, because a prophet in the, in the Old Testament or New Testament, he did so. As in, like, you know, look, he did it. Do you know what I mean? As an excuse. He I cannot what? remember the name. He did what in the Old Testament? Well, I, I don't want. To, well, I, I, I don't want to like you know. Uh, 
to like you know life so because i want i don't want to be like the typical person who, who brings like you know all i had i had no i want to i want to give you like you know the 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 accurate uh, source okay but there's a prophet they use as an excuse that married uh three years old i don't know i think it was a prophet this, i cannot that's, remember that's I don't want, like, you know, they speak about rebecca but this is false this is no nowhere in the bible it says what they are saying this is just a fabrication who is it apologize who is yeah, it th they say a, a marriage of rebecca you know but anyway this is nowhere in the bible to be found this is false is it not okay I, I'm, I'm not an expert i don't want to talk about things yeah, that I mean, know. When, I'm somebody, not an when somebody say, says to you okay show me the verse that says he marries someone at the age of three okay. <laughs> then we will laugh there's nowhere that's a that's a that's a stupid lie, you know. Uh, but the Muslims, because they are desperate, because we have a proof, clear proof from wife of Muhammad saying he married me at the age of six. So the Muslims, they have to come with something equal. They tried their best; they could not find anything, and they fabricate a story. But if we go, we ask any Muslim. Here we go. Any Muslim who is watching, and you know, from those who claim to have knowledge, post for us the verses from the Bible says that there is somebody. He married somebody, and she wasn't yeah. three years old. I challenge you. They are liars. There's no such a thing. So, do you know uh, what they say? Like, apologize yeah. for interrupting you. I don't want to be rude. Apologize, um, but uh, do you know what they say? Six. It's Hal Bukhari. Then because it, it, they contradict themselves because they say like Bukhari is a man from Bukhara. He was blessed by Allah because he was blind when he was young. And then Allah, like, you know, cured his blindness and he gave him, like, you know, uh, such, um, such, like, you know, um, what's the proper word to explain his, uh, like, you know, uh, ability, ability, skill, right? He could, like, you know, if you give him, let's say, one page, he would just, uh, just view it once and memorize it. So they're saying in that way, he was, like, you know, fully trustable, okay? It's a guy from Bukhara. But then when you give him this, like, you know, this, uh, um quote this uh hadith so it's not only related in one in one page one section it's it's been repeated in multiple pages i haven't memorized the number but i know it's been repeated multiple times so we all know that he married a woman that what i girl apologize uh okay. six years old so if, if if you if you like you know you don't have to go to university but if you if, if you use your brain man if you use your brain just google six or nine years old girl and imagine you start marrying to that person. Man, it's disgusting. Yeah. It is disgusting. <clears throat> I've done it yesterday. So, so this is the main reason, this is the main reason make you leave Islam? What about uh, stupid um, mistakes in the Quran? No, 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 because I've lost my faith. I was like, you know, really like, you know, I was believing the, there's one God, okay? But I'm not lying to you. Sometimes when you mix you, I mean, company is important because like, you know, it, it can make you to increase or lose your, your, they call it Iman, like, you know, the, uh, your, your faith, uh, right? So I was, the more, because at that time, I didn't know much about the religion. So I was like, you know, my, my Iman, my faith was de decreasing because I said, how comes such a beautiful religion have, have not been su successful over the world? Because just tell me one Muslim country that's been successful. There's none of them, even Saudi Arabia, like, you know, you're Yeah, but this is not, you see, this is for me not a reason to be uh, a true believer or not. Because you can be a believer and you are poor, you know. Yeah. What? Yeah, but, you know, but you most, have most, most, my friend, this is not a reason. Most of those who they are most successful today, they are not even believers. Like Bill Gates is an atheist. Uh, yeah, they're not. Uh, all of they're them not. they are atheists. Most of them actually. So does not does not prove that they are right or wrong. Uh, uh, so being poor can be a blessing for you because you will not be being tested by the money the corruption. But the question is. Do Islam make you a better person, even if it's true religion or not? Islam okay, make you a person who hate everybody. Islam make you want to kill everybody. Correct. Islam I'm make you my... even hate your own family, as the Quran says. The Quran forbid the Muslims even to love their own parents and their own family uh, if they don't, if they are opposing, opposing Islam, which means they don't believe in Allah. So, yeah. Quran is an evil book. Uh, teach evil, spread evil, and that make it nothing but evil. Otherwise, you know, uh, uh, being successful by money, okay, well, we have uh, some Muslim countries that are very successful, like in Emirat, you know, does that mean they have a good religion in there? They don't know. Actually, they are, they are, they are successful because they don't practice Islam. It's, if they practice Islam, the, the country will be empty, you know? Uh, actually, actually, no, actually, I think they, they practice it because I always think, why do they like, you know, 
pay people the right amount of money. But then I've realized that in Islam is allowed to have slaves. So yeah, but, what but they, do? they don't practice, don't practice. You see, all Muslims today, nobody practice, even in Saudi Arabia, uh, even before this king, you know, like now they celebrate Christmas and they have uh, New Year evening, they bring in uh, singers, music is haram before in Saudi Arabia. But even before, they don't dare to practice Islam. Like if somebody leave Islam and he was, uh, let us say, if somebody, sorry, uh, uh, somebody he live in Saudi Arabia, he's a Christian. Do he pay jizya? No. Why? Because then nobody will live in the country and nobody will work in this country, which none of the countries know even to make uh, anything, like how to build a house, how to make electricity, how to fix a phone, how to fix a, uh, nothing. So they have to bring workers from abroad, and this is why they compromise their religion. However, you will not find one single Muslim country practicing Islam, even Taliban. Taliban now, they are not really practicing Islam because they are asking friendship with Russia, friendship with America, friendship with China, friendship, but the Quran says, chapter 5, verse 51, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. So Muslims, Correct. Correct. even Taliban, Correct. they are not true Muslims because Islam is so, impossible to practice. And uh, in this religion, yeah, this religion make you, make you a hateful person. In the same time, does not give you the solution for what to do. Okay, if we don't take a Christian and Jews as a friends, so what we would do? I agree with you because I, I want to mention two things like uh, before I forget them. One of them, like the, the, the more into Islam I was getting, like what well, Islam, what Islam means, uh, submit to God's will. I want to, I, I don't want to no. call that. I want to call them, no. I want to call uh, Muhammad's Islam, teacher. Islam means to surrender, not to submit. Surrender? Surrender, yes, not to submit. This is, wow, uh, they give you a false translation. Yeah. Okay, so I apologize. Thanks for that. I so let, let that. me ask you, originally you were a Christian? Or what you Actually, used to be? I wouldn't say Christian because I didn't know what Christianity means. I started, I started doing my research. Because you just say Jesus, so I'm trying to understand why you are saying Jesus if you don't understand. If, if because, don't... because I've been mixing more with like, you know, uh, Christians recently. So I, I oh. started using that word again. And I've been, uh, so, okay, so now you decide to leave Islam. What do you think about Christianity? I, I'm doing my study now. I, I, look, about me, before I continue, like, you know, uh, I'm, I, I, I'm not the typical guy who'd say like, you know, blah 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 and you you take it you no know, i'm a person it's not because i'm arrogant but before i gain to something i need to read the terms and conditions i need to know one following right mm -hmm. so um I've, I've spoken to like you know a pastor who i found on the on, on the internet i've got many like you know nice uh, christian friends even here where i'm from like you know majority of them like even they're not fully knowledgeable but by nature they're christians right and they i always felt comfortable with my friends the only difference is like, you know, I believe in something, you believe in another thing. And um, now I'm doing my research about it, like, you know, because I'm, I'm, I've been in about the Trinity. I understood the Trinity in one, like in one sentence. Even, even it's logical. Father is like God. And then son doesn't mean like, you know, son as in like, you know, physically, but just like, you know, uh, in, in the, in the, in the mother, father. Uh, yeah. And like, you know, in the flesh, in flesh, as in like in meat. And spirit means like, you know, soul, like now we call it nefs ro. I think uh, uh, soul, like, you know, uh, it is it. So it took me easy to understand it. It means, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that, uh, hello, are you there? Yeah, I'm just listening. If there's Sorry. any question you, you need me to help you with regarding Christianity. Yeah, there are two, three things. The, uh, we, with me, I really got into Islam. So there, for me, it's going to be like, you know, I don't, it's hard to like, you know, to, to get it because I wasn't like, you know, a fake one. I really studied. So for example, this hadith, they say like, you know, the end of the time. So that's why I said a Taliban maybe is right. There's a tribe from Al-Khurasan, a tribe which is actually Iran, uh, mm -hmm. the Imam Al-Mahdi, or uh, like, you know, it will, it will be erased. I will lead uh, a troop from Al-Khurasan, which is a mm -hmm. town in, in Iran. Mm -hmm. uh, I will leave like, you know, the champion to fight against the, you know, like with some, I think it will, yeah, from Khorasan. So I was thinking, whoa, Taliban just took over. Now this hadith is talking about uh, Khorasan. No, my friend, this, this is, this is uh, uh, first of all, Muhammad, he made a false prophecy when he spoke really? about, about this. Yes, because, uh, uh, you know, the, the problem is when people, they read, they don't think, they don't read carefully. You know, you have always to learn how to read carefully and study the words carefully. So here it says, Correct. Uh, uh, this is the hadith, and uh, some of it is da'if, some of it is sahih. Uh, and then, 
Um, Muhammad here is being a racist, speaking about people who they are Asian. The Asian people are the people who they have the black flag and they are the Muslims who they, you know, they will follow the Dajjal. If you read here, it says that the Dajjal. Uh, okay, I'll, will, I'll will, YouTube channel. Yeah, he will, he will emerge from a land, it's called Khorasan or Khorasan. And fought Correct. by people who their faces like hammered shield. So Muhammad, he believed that the evil ones, which according to Muhammad, and his, his racism, the Asian people, they are the one who follow the Dajjal, and he is coming from Khorasan. So Muhammad, he made, made it so clear that Khorasan is where the evil one will come. It doesn't matter who is this evil one, is the Khorasan. But Khorasan now okay. is Muslims, Khorasan is Muslims. And, uh, uh, you know, Muhammad, obviously, he never been there because they don't really have the look of Muhammad. So how did he need... Apologies for stopping you. I don't want to be rude. How did like you know? See, if this guy was like illiterate, I mean, like you know, but I'm I'm not that stupid. Like you can like this this uh, uh, jihadi wannabe one can trick me because like you know he was like you know uh, a trader. He he worked for his uh, Khadija, so he used to travel. I think that when he went to do the I think they call it Dimash or Damascus, he mixed with people, so he hear things, he listened to things. So he's not stupid, like you know. I mean, he, don't, he, he didn't like only stay in in Mecca, so he, he really. Well, you know, this is not really for me. This is not a big deal. You know, we were trying to find out. Uh, we understand you left Islam. I, I asked you if you like, if you have a question for me about Christianity, I will answer you. But uh, yeah, uh, but but uh, you know, like we are going over over, and you know, uh, look like we will never end anywhere. Do you have any question you like me to ask me about Christianity before we finish our call? Yeah, there are three verses for me. Three verses, and I will fully leave, leave Islam. If you can help me with this, I will fully leave it. What three verse? What do you mean? Okay, the three about the Quran. Okay, so there are three things. Okay, so um, what he talks about, like you know, how it, like you know. Uh, so hold, hold on. So you did not leave Islam yet? I mean, I don't pray, so therefore I'm, I'm not. I'm not a Muslim. No, I'm asking you. Do you consider yourself a Muslim or not now? I'm, I'm doubting. I'm doubting. I'm, I'm, I'm oh. believing like in between. Okay. I'm doing what, my is, what, about... what is the three verses you want me to answer you about Islam? So there's one about um, it takes it talks about like, you know, um, how like we preserve uh, the body of the mummy of uh, Pharaoh. Like, you know, that's one. The set and the second one. The second one, that's one, like you know how he's preserved, and they say people they found it. That's what like increased my my, my faith because I, I found it through that. Like you know, he said like he will uh, the the tyrant uh, pharaoh, like you know he will preserve his body, mm. so they will like be a sign for the people uh, who who are going to be alive and see it. So now in Egypt, what what now years ago they found the body. If you can Google it, I mean like I think Ramses, the the issue uh, Egyptian passport. So they can like you know take his body to be studied in France. Mm. So I'm a bit shocked about this. I'm not lying to you. Mm. And the second one, let's go. Let's go. Let's go one by one. First of all, Ramses was not preserved by God. He is a mummy, and you are the one who just said so, right? Which is is it, uh, the verse? If you can find them and and, and read it, yeah, the verse. Uh, I, I know the verse. Chapter ten, verse number ninety-two. But as you know, that Ramses is a mummy, which means when he died, they cut his body and they took whatever the, the Egyptian they do to preserve a body. It's not God who preserved him, correct? Well, I, I don't want to like talk about things I don't know. Like you know, they did like you know the the, the ancient Egyptian rituals, basically like you know to. My friend, know, my friend, my friend. My question is simple. My question is simple. Who is the one who preserved the body? Of the Pharaoh Ramses, was the people who did surgery and preserve him in a tomb, or it was Allah? Well, they say like you know everything is based on the, uh, Allah's uh, will, isn't it? So, so I mean, like, like, no, no, no. You see, because they do that to all the kings, not only him. All the kings, well, all their kings. It all their says kings. that God sometimes got with power, isn't it? Like, you know, there's things like, you know, and they're not understandable. Like, you know, maybe he is like saying when Moses was like, you know, he, he, he leads his, yeah, the Israelis. And then most of it, like, my friend, know, my friend. Like if I say, if I say I reserve now, I am, I am God, I reserve the body of the Pharaoh. And then we find that the one who preserved him is the doctors who made the surgery. 
and they you know they put his uh, body in a in a tomb and they put chemical in his body in order to preserve it and by the way it's not preserved i mean there's some flesh there some hair but the guy is uh, we can have nothing to see i mean there's not it's not preserved so so, so how this guy, so how this guy, like you know, this guy called Muhammad knew about this, like you know, about Ramses, and then all over the sovereign. First, he do not know. Person. First, he do not know about Ramses because he think Ramses is an is a name of a person. He think this is the name. Sorry, Pharaoh is the name of the person. If you go in the Quran, here we go. Let me read it for you. In the Quran, you 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 put the word Al Al. You said you study okay. a little bit Arabic, right? Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not an expert, but yeah, like you know, yeah. Okay, if I say. Alu Pharaoh, I'm saying the Pharaoh is an individual, his name is Pharaoh, the same as Alu Musas, chapter 2, verse number 248. Alu Musas, I'm showing you on the screen, you can look. Al, yep. and then, we say and, the, and then Musas, Alu Musas, chapter, chapter 2, verse four, uh, 248. Same for Alu Ibrahim, Al, and then the name after it was going to be a name of individual, Ibrahim, and then the same, Alu Pharaoh. This is Al, you know, mean the family, Pharaoh. So Pharaoh is individual. So the stupid Muhammad, you think that Pharaoh is an individual. His name is Pharaoh. Yeah. This is not a title. Apologies. Yeah, this is you not a title. No, no, we are not done. Hold on. And then we find Al Yaqub. Al Yaqub. Here we go. Al Yaqub. So you notice always after Al, the word is going to be a name of individual, singular name, not a title. Al Ibrahim. Al Lut. So all over the Quran, this word is used. And here... Give me some apologies, because you're going fast, and I'm not understanding this. I, I do apologize. I mean, you are a native speaker. I am not. I do apologize. So you said, like, you know, the name is uh, it's not Al-Faraon. What, what al, is it? Al, al is a word okay. mean family of. Family of. al Lut, al Yaqub, al Yaqub. So Al is not even an Arabic word. It's an Aramaic word. So, uh, yeah, al, it's like the article. It's like saying the, isn't it? The article. It's like saying al. Uh, no, al means literally family of. Lit al, like family. alif. Uh, I think it's al. Uh, no, no, al, this alif. is not. Uh, this is not letter. This is a word. Uh, a l. It is two. It's, it is two. Uh, two letters, and there's medda, which means the a is two a. So, or you have to extend it. So al al Dawood, You see here, it says al Dawood. If you click a translation, chapter 34, as an example, uh, chapter 34, verse 13, here it says, this is Alu Dawood. All right? So, what is Which means? Alu Dawood means the family of Dawood, the family of Dawood. Here we go. You see the translation? No, I cannot see the translation. I apologize. The only, it's chapter, only in the... chapter 34, verse number 13. I'll Google it. Give me a second. So, chapter, apologies. Say that again, please. Chapter 34, verse number 13. Verse 13. So, chapter 34. Okay. I'm showing so this in, the, in YouTube. You can see it in YouTube if you're watching. Okay, give me a second. I think that was... I apologize. I mean, like, you know, I don't want to, like, you know, cause you the, 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 the thing about no me, problem, like, you no know, problem, I, I, don't, I don't follow blindly. I like to know the root. I'm not the typical no, tell me, no oh, uh, two, three things. That's what I love. Um, All right, just open like, so he said, they worked for him what he desired. Make the, 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 him, forget uh, about the rest. You know, this is not important here. Our, our topic okay. is, O oh, family of David, of Dawood. What is the word? Okay. Alu Dawood. You see it? Al Alu? Dawood. Alu, Alu Dawood. Yes. Alu Dawood. Al, Alu is like... Al, 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 Al. But you know, you add, you add Dhamma to it. Al or Ala, you can say, depending on the Tashkil. So, Al... This is just a, a movement of the word, depending on the location. Al is a word mean family. Dawood is a name of a person. Right? And this, oh, is, a this, is, the... And this is the translation. Oh, family of David. So Alu, Alu, da Alu Dawood is family of David. Apologize. So Alu, just to understand that, uh, sorry for making you go slow, but because you are, okay, Alu is like you're saying A L. You, Alu. No, Alu. there's no you. There's no you. There's no you. This is Arabic. You don't add you. You are trying you, to read it in now English, in the English. Apologize. Yeah, okay. In no. English, I'm saying. My friend, this is not important. This is all how to pronounce it. Apologies. For me, it's important because, like I said to you, I need no to know. No problem. What you can watch the video later slowly. You can go to the dictionary and you can try yourself to see how it works. 
But al, uh, al apologies. Is a if word. you understand it now, then I can understand you the part of the pharaoh. No, the you will understand of... because how to pronounce it is not important. I'm showing you the translation of the Muslims. This is the word al, and this is the translation family. What will come after the family? When I say the family of, then I have to say a name of a person after that, right? Right? Correct. So, okay, to make it shorter, Alu means family. Okay, Alu means family. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, uh, and the name will be after it, the name of individual. Always a name of individual. It's not a title. So, Alu, Alu uh, Dawood, family Alu Dawood. Of, of David. Family of David, and this is the Muslim translation. So, what we are trying to teach you now, that the word Al always appear before individual name. We learn that. Okay, so now we go into that chapter. Apologize, and then you. Yeah, now I understand. Thank you. Thank so you. So now all Al those, Al all those verses. There's tons of them. They keep saying, "Alu Faraon, Alu Dawood, Alu Lot." Uh, 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 Could you please go back to that so you can fully understand it, please, if you don't mind? Which one? Which verse? The one you told me, Alu Faraon, so I can understand. All of them. Who... There's tons of them. Here we go. Uh, 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 oh, there's tons of verses saying. I'm, I'm talking about Pharaoh because, like, what, what, like, you know, uh, um, intrigued me, uh, tricks me is the Pharaoh one. So that that's the chapter Pharaoh, isn't it? Uh, the, my friend, the, the Muhammad story is always in the Quran. It's all over the Quran. It's not a chapter. It's not one chapter. As you see, I'm, I'm showing you. I apologize. The verse of Pharaoh. I'm not talking about the other ones. I'm talking about the the Pharaoh specifically, so I can understand. My Your... friend, I'm telling you, the story of Pharaoh is all over the Quran. It's not in one chapter. Okay, not sorry. in one chapter. It's not like in the Bible, you find the book of Genesis where how God created things and that's it. The story of the Pharaoh is all over the Quran. As you see, here we find some about the Pharaoh in chapter 3. Then we find about Pharaoh in chapter 2. Then we find about the Pharaoh in chapter 7. And then we find in chapter 8. And then we find in chapter uh, 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 14 and chapter 15 uh, chapter let us say i mean it's all over the quran so the chapter the, the pharaohs is mentioned many places in the quran because muhammad he keep repeating himself however the word al is a word presented before a name of individual this was the point as an example okay chapter 15 verse number 61 it says alulut alulut so the family of Lut, do you see it? The family of Lut. That makes sense, yeah. Okay. I understand. So you. when Muhammad, yeah. when Muhammad, he say Alu Faraon, he is saying the family of the Pharaoh. He thinks that Pharaoh is a name of a person. Secondly, if we ask the Muslims. He thinks what, sorry? He say, when he say Alu Faraon, he is thinking that Pharaoh is an individual. The name of him is Pharaoh, not a, a title as a king. So say Alu Pharaon, which means all oh, the family of Pharaoh. Family of Pharaoh, yeah. Then if we ask, if we ask the Muslims, oh, okay, as long the Muslims agree that the time in the time of Moses, the king was Ramses the second, right? Well, they say Ramses, but in the Quran is Pharaoh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, but if we ask the Muslims the same question, who was his wife? Um, they, in Islamically, uh, it was like, you know, one of the most uh, prestigious, uh, iconic uh, women in Islam. This is not the question. She was a believer. This, is, this is not the question. My friend, as long as we know now, as long as the Muslim, they say that we know the name of the king, his name is Ramses II. Okay, Ramses no, II, my friend, stop apologizing. Listen to me carefully. The name, try to get my idea instead of listening to apologize, apologizing. The name it's of the culture. king, the name my of the culture. king, yeah, my that's friend. How I am. It's, I it's okay, it's culture. okay. The name of the king is Ramses II. The name of the wife is Nefertari. So if the Muslims, they discover something in the Quran, and this is Ramses II, then Muhammad is a liar. Because Muhammad, he said that the name of the wife is Asiya. Into Muhazim. So she is. she have even an Arabic name. So this is the Egyptian queen of the, the wife of Ramses, and her name is Nefertari. According Nefertari, to Muhammad, okay. Nefertari. According to Muhammad, the wife name is Asiya, bin to Muzahim. So this is alone proven to us that Muhammad is a fraud. But is it not, I apologize, is it, is, it not, is it not because like, you know, it is in, in other language, it's like saying Joshua. No, you don't change, no, Isa. no, no. You see, uh, uh, Joshua, because you know the Latin. Remember, we have letters in Arabic, 
or in Hebrew. You don't have it in, in your Latin language. As an example, there's nothing. It's called Muhammad. Muhammad. It is Muhammad, correct? Okay. Muhammad, okay. yeah. So those Jeshua is not a new name, but this is a new name, totally new name. There's a huge difference between Asiya and Nefertari. Yeah, but for example, he they call it, they call it like, they don't call it Jeshua. They call it Isa. They don't say no, Shalom. My friend, there's nothing it's called Isa. This is the fabrication. What Isa? There's nothing that's called what I'm Isa. Saying. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm no, saying. no, no. You see, this is this is initial proof that Muhammad is a fraud. He didn't never get the name correct. So, uh, 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 what is his name? Abraham. His father is uh, Azar, according to the Quran. But this is not the true name of the father of Abraham. In the Quran, go and read the Bible. Same as Isa. Jesus became Isa, but Isa is Yeshua. Is not a so who's as there's a huge difference, you know, and this is a closed language. Arabic is 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 not a language by itself. It's coming from the Aramaic and mixed with Hebrew. So when we say when we say uh, in Arabic as an example, we say Yeshua. In Hebrew, they say Yeshua. See how close Yeshua, Yeshua. Why? Because in, in, in some Aramaic, my friend, in some Aramaic language, some Aramaic accent, the word. Sorry, you're going fast. What? You're going fast, sir. You're going fast because when you I'm go not. fast, I don't get. You say like in in in. They say Jeshu, Jeshua. Which language was that? This is not their language. This is not the correct name. I know, but you said now something. You said like, you know, Jeshua is in Hebrew, and then you said another Jeshu. No, in Latin, is... as an example, the word Jesus does not exist in the Latin language, in the in the in the Hebrew language. The reason there is yeah. there there was always short in letters. So because there was a short letter, they came with the with the letters close to resemble the sound and the voice. Otherwise, there is no Jesus. If you read the whole Bible, there's no Jesus because but because they don't have equal letters, they have to use words or let us say letters can fix, make it evil to pronounce. In Arabic, we have way more letters, which is not exist in English, or, or in many languages. So in okay. order to fix that, we had tried to find an, a closed letter to fix the, the word. So Muhammad, Muhammad became Muhammad, right? Ali became Ali, but there's we don't have uh, Ali in the Arabic. It is Ali, not Ali. Ali is a letter A, but because in your language you don't have the letter which we have, so you replace it with something close to make the sound, but not to make the name really. So uh, when we talk here about a woman, and Muhammad he's saying that Asiya is the wife of Pharaoh. See, he is not even saying the Pharaoh, he says the wife of Pharaoh. He speak to him as an individual. As a person, his name is Pharaoh. You see the yeah, screen right. in front of me? You see the screen in front of me? So it's like the Prophet said, sufficient for you among the women of mankind. And Maryam being uh, Imran, Khadija being Huwailid, Fatima being Muhammad, and Aisha, Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. Okay, see? so the, the, his wife is called Asiya. Okay, Asiya. Okay. Right. So, the king, the king of Egypt, the king of Egypt, who Muhammad yeah. talked about in the time of Moses, his name is Pharaoh and his wife, her name is Asiya. When all the history says that the name of the wife of the Pharaoh, Ramses II at that time, was the Fertari. And they were in love too. And she is a daughter of a king. So how Muhammad, he changed the name. If he is a person inspired by God, how come no historian found Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh, as Muhammad he claimed? And as you see here, he mentioned each name in this hadith. After it is a name of individual, correct? Read carefully. He says, it's among the women, the mankind are Maryam, the daughter of Amran, correct? So Amran is a name of individual. And this is again wrong because Mary, she is not the daughter of Amran. Umran is the father of Musa. So Muhammad again is a fool. And it's not even Umran, it's Umran. Then he continue, Khadija bin Khuwailid. So Khadija, the daughter of Khuwailid, the name of individual, a man, his name is Khuwailid. Fatima bin Muhammad, this is supposed to be his daughter, daughter of Muhammad. And then Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. So Pharaoh is individual, his name is Pharaoh. So the silly Muhammad, he think Pharaoh is a name of a person. And he gave us a false name of the wife of the Pharaoh, Asiya. This is again proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Okay, to me that doesn't make sense to me because, like you know, like I said to you, it's a language. Okay, they change things. Like a friend know, in language, you did change the whole name. You don't change the whole name. You try to make sound of the name. 
Do Nefertari sound like a close to Asiya in any way, in any mean? If there's any letter between them, say share. Just letter. Asiya Nefertari. If there's any letters, they share. <laughs> I get your point now. I get your point now, mate. Yeah, mate. Now I get your point. It's like saying just not even Jesus one, just not even one letter, not even one letter. The first letter in the name of the queen is Nefertari. N. The woman no, here, no, her name is not Nancy. No, her name is not Nancy. Her name is not Nunu. Her name is not Nana. Her name is Asiya. So the first letter is not the same. The second letter is not the same. The third letter is not the same. The fourth letter is not the same. The fifth letter is not the same. And even there's more letters in the injection name. And none of them fit with the, with the name here. Not even a single letter. So when you say to me, maybe because it's different language, in different language, you don't change the name. You don't change the like, name. Every, every Christian, every Christian knew that the correct name of Jesus is Yeshua, not Jesus. Jesus is the word we use in a language which don't have equal letters. So we, so don't, we, are, not, we are not deceived. We are not using wrong name. We are not uh, doing that in purpose to lie. We are trying to accomplish a language which is not equal to the uh, Hebrew or Aramaic. So we, uh, but the name is still very close. But here, Nefertari, and here, Asiya. So if Muhammad, he got it correct, then he should get that Pharaoh is not a name of a person. This is the name, a title of a king. Secondly, he should know better that, I, sorry, Asiya is not the wife of uh, Pharaoh. Not, not only that, he claimed that uh, Asiya, she is the daughter of Muzahim. When this woman, she is very well known, Nefertari. She is a king. She is the daughter of a king too. Not only she is a wife of a king, she was a daughter of a king. So, okay, so what's the name in the in the in the in the Torah? Like, you know, what's the name given to the the Pharaoh? What's the name given to him? Uh, well, the, uh, speak about the Pharaoh too, but you know, doesn't say. Uh, I think it's it's mentioned uh, not exactly the name that I'm trying okay, to remember. It doesn't say like you know Ramses, or doesn't like you know. No, no. You see, you see I, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't remember really. Uh, uh, like Come in. Search it, please. Uh, in, like in some in some translation, uh, like they put in the translation, they put the word Ramses, but I don't think the word Ramses is exist. But the Pharaoh never been used as a name of a person. The Pharaoh is a king, you know, is a name, is a yeah, title of a king. It's not an is 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 not an a yeah. But my friend, to make it simple, so the first thing Allah did not preserve the mummy. It was the Egyptian. Do we agree on that or not? Um, like I said to you, I am not these people who you like, you know, tell them two, three things and I will like accept a belief straight away. It's another question, my friend. I want, I want an answer a question. You don't have to agree with me. I'm asking you, who is the one who preserved the, the, who is the one who preserved, who is the one who preserved the body of the Pharaoh? Is it the well, doctors been, who did surgery? Is it the, the doctor? Is, the, the, is it, is the, it, is the body of Pharaoh? Let me make it simple for you. Is the body of the Pharaoh never been touched by a human, preserved by God? Or the body of the Pharaoh we have right now is not really truly really preserved, number one, because preserved being preserved. That's it. Secondly, is it preserved the way it is now by the doctors of the Egyptian, the old Egyptian, and or by Allah? This is the question. Okay, so like, let me tell you something like, you know, it's not like, you know, I don't want to be rude to you, but uh, I can tell you, like, you came from an Arabic background. Arabic people, they have, like, you know, a rough approaching, okay? So, to me, like I said to you, the Almighty, like the name, it says, uh, He's, like, you know, Almighty. He's mighty everything. So, if God can preserve something, can do it, it's not because the human is human. Because to me, like, I've read something, so if God says, do it, do it. If God says, doesn't do it, doesn't do it. What does so have to do with my God... question? What does have to do with my question? I'm asking you, who is the one who preserves it? Everything works under the God's will. No. Even... No, prove it. Pro prove it. No, pro no, prove it. Prove it. Because, because now I can. So are you saying to me now, when the Egyptian, the, uh, uh, they, they preserve the body because Allah, he told them to preserve the body? What what I what I learned 
whatever you do, you do it, and Allah does the rest. What that means, you. What is you that? Hold on, on, hold on. So there's people right now when they, when somebody die, they burn him. They burn him. You know. So is Allah is yeah. ordering to burn to burn the person? No, no. Apologize. No, that's another level. You, you, you went to another level. Apologize. No, well, I'm not going to any level. Example. I'm not talking to a level. So I'm asking you, when the Egyptian, who is the one who preserved the Pharaoh? Was it the Egyptian who did the surgery or Allah? Why well, believe you can do something? Okay, you can do something. Okay, you can do something. And if God wants, I don't say Allah, I say God. Okay, Allah is in Arabic. If God wants, he can do whatever he wishes. My friend, so I don't care. To... I don't care what you are telling me. This is not my question. Please focus with me. I put uh, I put now a chicken in the refrigerator. Yeah. I preserve it for the coming century, maybe. So when I did that, Allah is the one who ordered me to put the chicken in the freezer, or I did it myself. You put the chicken in the freezer. Hmm. Who is the one who preserved the chicken? Me or Allah? Not preserve. No, you place in the freezer. That's all you did. Like you place in the freezer and the freezer like preserves the things because okay. like it works like, is, so what, uh, what, what difference is going to make my friend i don't know if you are, how, how old are you i put the chicken in the freezer i put the chicken in the freezer if i don't put it in the freezer is allah going to put it in the freezer no he will not i mean like you know okay uh, so i am the one who preserved the, the the chicken i am the one maybe who made the freezer and maybe i am the one who made electricity for the freezer and then I am the one who put the chicken in the freezer. What does it have to do with Allah? So by that law, by that like philosophy, then Moses, when they're like, you know, he like, you know. Our friend, he, don't change he, the topic. Don't change the topic. I'm not who, is the one, who is I'm the one who is the one who preserved? No, because this is something they did. They are not Muslims. Is the people of the Pharaoh are Muslims? Allah, he just killed them, supposedly. Allah just killed them, killed them, those people. Because they so are they not have, believers. Okay, so okay, Allah, so Allah, Allah, He told the disbelievers to preserve the body of the Pharaoh. Okay, so then Moses, like when he, like you know, when he was like you know, his people were thirsty. He used his stick. He, he, he like you know, he stopped. What does have to do with my the... question, my friend? Listen carefully. Logic, mate, that is a miracle. Getting... That is a miracle. God, He did it. He did not ask people to do it. So he said to him, "Go and me? walk." He said to him, "Go and walk." He crossed the ocean. Don't worry. He crossed the sea. So. God, okay. he opened the ocean. It's not the stick of Moses. Stick of Moses is not Harry Potter. We don't believe in such okay. a thing. So listen okay. carefully. Miracle. You're not a kid. You're not a kid. Listen. If I put the chicken in the freezer, is Allah ordering me to put the chicken in the freezer or I am the one who made the decision? You made it. Okay. So when the, the Pharaoh people, they cut his throat, they opened his stomach, they took everything, they put chemical inside and they put him inside a tomb and they preserve him in a certain way, to preserve well, his know. body as know. much as they can. So who is the one know. who did it? I do not know if they put chemicals or uh, any sort of technique to preserve their body. Everybody I don't know. knows that the Egyptian, they do that. Don't play like a kid now. Everybody knows the Egyptian, they do surgery. They take like his stomach, my friend. If you don't take the How? stomach of a dead person, the person, his body is full of worms. They will eat him, simply. You, Mate, they found you, recently. You, you, never recently heard, you never heard. You never heard. They never heard of a stuffed cat, stuffed wolf, stuffed a, a bear. You never heard of those things. The what? Sorry. Stuffed, stuffed uh, uh, bear. Like they take everything inside him. They keep his skin, and then they put inside him chemical and cottons, etc., to make him look like he is in a shape. But in fact, he is not preserved by himself. If you leave him in the field. The worm will eat him. So was the Pharaoh preserved by himself? And that is a miracle of God? Or there's doctors, they did surgery and they clean him inside and they put something inside him to preserve as much as they can. I'm reading in here now who Ramses was, like the body of Pharaoh. They say, like, you know, I want to understand that because, like I said to you, I cannot, like, believe something over the night, right? I cannot, I'm, I'm not a typical guy. My friend, I'm, I'm not like, asking you to believe anything. Did I ask you to believe anything? I'm just asking you, use your logic. I'm asking you a question. Who is the one who did preserve Ramses the second? Allah or the doctors? I'm, I'm Googling 
what they did with uh, Farion's body. So My friend, aren't you the one who said to me, mommy? Isn't you who said to me the word mommy? I said mommy, yes. Mommy okay, right so mommy, mommy right is right a mommy. That's mean they're preserved and he's not preserved. Who said that he's preserved? Look at him. I mean, this guy is a preserved. Anyone in the world here can believe that this is a preserved. What is a preserved in him? This is the preserved? And he is a mummy. Mummy mean that we put him inside a tomb and we did a surgery for him to fix to fix this mummy to make it to make it look like something. So he's not preserved. This is number one. Number two, it was the people who put him in that tomb. And they did that to many pharaohs, not only him. So the preservation of the Quran is a false claim because this is what they did to all the pharaohs. Secondly, even if you're drawn, even the Bible speaks that when when the drone is, is done, the water went back and dead bodies were, you know, all over the place. Even if you die in the middle of the ocean, actually, most likely the, the waves will push you away to the shore. So what does have to do preservation? So he did not preserve him. The, the Pharaoh so, yeah, they preserve. Say, they, say, they say like, you know, in like, you know, when, when Moses like, you know, crossed the, like, you know, the Red Sea, and the Almighty uh, bring the waters back. Uh, the old sink. They were My like friend, is it back already? Is it is it is it still open until now? The what? Sorry. Is it is the water is still open until now? Do you mean like the Red Sea? No. Okay. So what you are saying to me? Are you saying? Are you saying no, that the Black Sea like, came back? This. I'm telling you this story, like, you know, what happened, like, you know, so when, when like, you know, the Pharaoh and his troops were grown, were, like, you know, sinked in the, in the sea. Mm -hmm. They say that the bodies were, like, you know, floating and remaining, and they, they're right on the coasts. So afterwards, I believe what they did, they found his body, okay, they found it, right? They did the ritual, the ancient Egyptian uh, cult belief, they they mummify him like you know put like you know bends and ropes around him and they did like the egyptian thing and we know that nowadays in egypt they discovered a lot of tombs from thousands of years a lot yeah. of them and that's what i'm right. saying so what's wrong i mean what's my, my friend i don't know what's wrong with you i'm telling you this for the last hour trying to explain to you that this is what they do and now you are telling me so this is so easy but I, so I, I thought you didn't understand, but now you understand even better than what I understand. So the, the, the Egyptian, they did the thousands of tombs the same. It's not Allah who preserved them. And the guy is not preserved. When I say, I preserved your body, this means his body should be preserved. Not bones. Preserved means preserved. There's all his army. Like what? All the army went in the sea, never come back. Obviously, many of them, they are in the shore. They are dead. This is the king. They came. They looked for him. They took him. They buried him. And they did what they do. So it's not Allah who preserved him. This is number one. Number two, Muhammad is a fool. He thinks the Pharaoh is the name of a person. Number three, he have the name of the wife wrong. What else more proof that Muhammad is a fraud? To me, that that's to me that's not uh, about names. It's not a big deal because we're talking about. Uh, no, it's, it's about like names because it is you who mentioned to me. This is Ramses the second. Why Muhammad don't say this is Ramses the second if he want to make a miracle? His God did not tell him Ramses II? If this we, is the purpose... Call it as Ramses. We call it as Ramses II. No, it's not It's not you call it. It's not you call it. This is his name. It's his real name, Ramses II. Okay. Yes. So, but in biblical names, in all names... The My friend, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? If the purpose of this verse is to prove that Allah, he speak about a certain person, can't Allah tell Muhammad the name of this king is Ramses? He didn't he did say not. the name. He said like okay. Pharaoh. He no, he body. said the name. No, this is why he says the wife of Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Doesn't even say the name of the Pharaoh. The wife of Pharaoh. Do you see it? It's in front of you. If so like, Pharaoh not... is a title, I will say the Pharaoh. Correct? Do you see that? Yeah. Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. Yeah, yeah, Pharaoh. Okay. Yeah, Pharaoh. There's no the before it, right? There's no the. So if I say the wife of the king, I have to say that the king, correct? Yeah, he didn't say king, he just said Pharaoh, yeah. 
Okay, so the wife of Pharaoh, because the foolish Muhammad, he thought this is the name of the person, Pharaoh. This is a clear right. evidence that Muhammad, he think that Pharaoh is the name of the person. And Asiya, as you see, she is his wife. And both of them, they are wrong. Pharaoh is a famous title of a king, but this is not the name. Right. And then right. when he, and, and we are showing you this is in the screen to prove a point that Muhammad, he mentioned that from the women, Maryam, daughter of Amran. So always there's a name of, and a man will come after Maryam, daughter of Amran, been to Amran. Yeah, Ibn Khulaifa Fatima bin Muhammad and Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. Okay, so I'm getting that, like, you know, Pharaoh is like a title of, like, you know, leader, king, ruler. Uh, yes, that's the ancient uh, Egyptian ideology. And they say, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, was it that family in Arabic? You said Ali. Is it called uh, Ali or the Alif? What, what was the thing like you said before in Arabic? Apologize. The... Um, what's the, the translation you said before? Alif or Ali? I cannot remember. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me there? I think the guy... Can you hear me, guys? Al. Yeah, Al. Al. Okay. I cannot hear him, like, and I cannot listen. Honestly, I cannot hear his voice. I only can see the text in here. Alu. Hello, can you hear me? I'm not responding. Jesus, like, you know, all my days, man. All right, let's see now. I think now it's working. I don't know what's wrong with this stupid computer. Lord, give me patience. Hello? Okay, do you, you hear me now? Yeah, I apologize. I think it was like some technical problems in there. No problem. So let us go back. Let's go back. So Al is a word mean family. Fair for our own is a name of a person, name of a person, and the proven yeah, of your eyes. Because I want to, because if I learn this, because I debate with Muslims on TikTok, okay, so I can save it for my knowledge. Thank you for telling me this. I know Arabic people are being like, you know, soft and harsh, but uh, let's do it slowly. I apologize. No Al problem. means family in Arabic, okay. Al means uh. Is a search, is a, just search for Al in the Quran and you will find tons of verses mentioning the word Al. It's not something, you know, I'm making things up. Al of Pharaoh, Al of You know, it's, I will, but you, need to, but you need to understand something that like some people are slow, or some people are more like rapid like you. We not all have the same speed and knowledge like you. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, no so that's I'm, why I'm, like, I'm being my, I'm being very patient, my friend. Uh, yeah, I know. Normally, so, our people are not, are not patient. You're patient. Okay. I really appreciate so you that. You can go and review the video later, and you will see all the verses showing you the words Al. As you see in the screen, yeah. you can freeze the video, click one by one, and you will see the translation. All of those mentioning the word Al, either in front of the Pharaoh, or in the front of Lut, or in front of David, or Abraham, or Jacob, uh, uh, yeah. etc. So, this is what the word Al means present Al, the people as the family. And then we find that Muhammad he mentioned clearly that the wife of Pharaoh. You don't call him the Pharaoh, you call him the wife of 
Pharaoh. He called him as a name. So the wife of Pharaoh, not the wife of the Pharaoh, the wife of Pharaoh, she, her name is Asiya, and this is a wrong name. And it doesn't match even with one letter with the original name of the wife of the true Pharaoh, Ramses. Secondly, when the Muslims, they try to say that, well, this is discovery and Allah, he made it. Simply, why Allah did not say the name of the, if this is the purpose of it, so later we will discover why Allah did not tell Muhammad the name of this man. His name is Ramses. And he gave him the correct name of Ramses. You know, the correct name of Ramses, the correct name of the wife. And then people will be astonished. Says, look, Muhammad, he, how Muhammad, he knew this. But as you see, Muhammad, he gave us wrong information. Allah did not preserve the body. It was the Egyptian. And the body is not even preserved, by the way. It's preserved compared to others, but it's not really preserved. It's a mummy. It is nothing but bones. There's no right. eyes. There's no eyes. Is the eyes there? No. If there's anything, uh, you know, can be recognized? No. So uh, it, it's not really preserved. You know? But because they are kings, they treat them differently and they used to even worship them. So it's a false uh, uh, claim from the Mohammedan about the Pharaoh. Secondly, as long as we are talking about the Pharaoh, uh, Muhammad, he think that the minister of the Pharaoh is Haman, but Haman was a minister in, in, in Iraq. For okay, different king. Thank you, Samuel. He, he thought what the, the minister, as in like you know, he's um, he's his worker, okay, the minister, okay, Muhammad. Hmm. Chapter Muhammad. Tw twenty-eight, verse number forty, chapter twenty-eight and uh, verse number thirty-six, and chapter 28. forty, verse number thirty-six. Yeah. Apologies. Chapter so, twenty-eight, verse. My friend, later you can watch the video. Chapter no, no, forty, no, no, verse no, no, number no, thirty-six. No, 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 Chapter 14, verse number 36. Don't talk so you can take the notes if you want. So the prophet says to her man, build for me a tower. So the stupid Muhammad thing that the Babylon tower built by Pharaoh. I'm taking notes, man. I'm taking notes. I mean, like, you know, I know there are people that fast, they're harsh, but in here we take things slowly so we can study it. I'm being so, very slow with you, you know, so do you see it? So how Muhammad, he say such a stupid thing that Haman was a minister of the Pharaoh and Haman is the one who built the Babylon Tower or Babylon Tower for the Pharaoh. So, okay, so you, you, you said like Haman built the Babylon Tower, where? You never heard of the Babylon Tower? No, if I say yes, I'm going to be lying to you. No. In Iraq. In, okay, in Iran, okay. So, Haman built the Babylon Tower in Iran, okay. And Muhammad, in Iraq, in Iraq, in Iraq. I apologize, Iraq, okay, Iraq. Yeah, the Assyrian kings, and, the, the Assyrian Chaldean people, this is where who, who live there. Okay, and, and Muhammad says... Okay. So, focus that, with me, focus with me. You can later, the video is there, you can download the video, take your time, and you take your notes. So, listen. Okay, so, yeah, a, man who speak, a man who yeah. speaks of history... A man who speak of history and the Muslim trying to make a miracle of history. How is stupid to say that Haman was a minister of the Pharaoh? And by the way, the name is not even Haman. You see the name here. I mean, uh, 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 as usual, we have to. Uh, it is Haman, but I mean, we try to make a sound close to the original name. Uh, the, uh, the Muslims how they can explain that to you they say there was a person close by name but this is not uh, that, that is Haman and Khuman and etc so it's different totally different name and here we notice that the verse saying clearly that the one who built the tower it was in the time of Moses and this is wrong secondly what is ta what is the tower that the Pharaoh Ramses he built any Muslim can tell us if I say yes, I'm going to be lying to you. I have no idea. No, not you. I'm asking the Muslims who they are watching. Any Muslim can tell us how in the world that Haman and the Pharaoh, they built a tower at that time. What is tower? What is the tower? What is that tower? So obviously, this is the Babylon Tower. And as long as we are talking about the Babylon Tower, this is how stupid Muhammad is. Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he used that tower to send down his angels, Harut and Marut to open Harry Potter's school. 
Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not making things up. Here we go. No, 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 right. It's funny. Like I like. At least you have humor. I like that. I like. <laughs> okay. Well, here we go. This is the verse, chapter two, verse one o two. Allah He sent two angels in the Babylon Tower, Harut and Marut, where they came in the Babylon Tower. So Allah He sent them down. Why He sent them down? Because this is the tower would reach to Allah. <laughs> You know? funny. <laughs> yeah, and what they and this is the Quran. It's not a hadith. So the Muslim they will say it's a lie. So those two angels, they taught what they open a school to teach black magic. Read carefully. Uh, I know, I know the story. Harun Marun, like you know, to te to te test the people. I know that story. Harun Marun, yeah, I know that. I know the story. Actually, the story is more than this. The story that they came down and Allah, He sent to them a woman. Her name is Venus. And she, uh, they, they wanted to sleep with her, and then they told her, "If you sleep, if uh, we want to sleep with you, if you, you know, if you please." Jesus. And then she Jesus. said to them, "I will let you sleep with me only if you do three things." And then uh, after they do three things, they worship false god, they drank wine, and they killed the person. Then uh, she told them, "I want the password to go to heaven." She, they gave her the password, and then she, when she fly. To go to heaven, Allah He cursed her and He made her the star Venus or the planet Venus. Venus. And all of this is a fiction, as you see. This is all his fictions. Muhammad, he, he come with it, he put it in the Quran. So Harut and Marut, they come at the Babylon, Babylon Tower and they open a school to teach magic and they make disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. We will teach you only as a trial. So you are a person, my friend. Telling yeah. me about a miracle in the Quran discovery of Ramses the second, but you know the story of Harut and Marut You know how stupid it is So how the same stupid guy who opened a school of Harry Potter to teach magic sending two angels is the same person you are talking about in Ramses Babylon to the two angels Harun Marut to but none of this two angels told anyone such things till they had said we are only for trial yeah, I mean, like, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit, like, deceiving, isn't it? Like, you know, I always thought, like, you know, why would, like, you know, God send two angels to, like, you know, uh, trial people, isn't it? Like, you know, what, what would you, like, you know, waste people's time? That's one. And uh, is, is that the Harun Marut? Is that story in uh, in the Bible? Is it? No. Harut and Marut is coming. No. Uh, Harut and Marut is a story of two angels who uh, Allah, they, they said to Allah, when Allah, he said, uh, are you going to send uh, a human being to do uh, mischievement in the earth? Uh, you know, we are the one who worship you and we are the one who please you. So why you want to create a human? And then Allah, he decide. Uh, he said, okay, choose the best of you. They choose Harut and Marut, the best of them. And then Allah, he said to them, okay, I will give you the same aspect of Adam, which means you will have a look of a man. You will act as a man, you know. Let us go send you to, to earth and see if you will do mischievement too, like Adam, if he would do, as you claim. Uh, so he sent them down, and then a woman, her name is Venus. She came to them. She have nice legs, and they could not resist it. And, you know, they want to have sex with her. Uh, and, you know, the story is very funny. But you notice that the story here does not make sense, because this is when Allah, when he said, I'm going to create someone, the angels, they complain. He did not even create the guy. And then he said to them, okay, choose the best of you. So supposedly he will send them to the ground where nobody lived. This is before Adam creation. So he sent them to the ground and then we find there's a woman and there's a child he come and there's a bigger and there's people who live there. So is Adam the first man or he is not? So the story is a fiction story. Muhammad, he learned from the Sabians that God, he destroyed the people. Or you know, for, yeah, for, for a reason. Sapiens, I found your video. My, my friend, my friend, focus with me. Let's finish one by one. Let us not to jump like monkeys. So, do you agree with the story of Harut and Marut? I agree that what that is a, a bit silly. Do you believe this is a true? This is can be true, or this is a stupid? I don't believe stupid or stupid. Like you know, that's someone's belief. Okay. No. Why so why you believe? So what you believe? No, it's a stupid. For me, it's a stupid. Why you don't dare to say it? Either it's stupid or it's not. No, I always respect people's belief regardless. No, I don't, I, no I don't respect people's belief. This is hypocrisy. It's fine. That's, that's, that's no, your I point don't. of view. Respect. Okay, if somebody, that's, if somebody believe in raping your wife, do you respect his belief? Uh, no. So, you don't respect then his belief. 
the Muslim believe they can rape your wife if you aren't a Muslim. True, like you know, a slave. Like okay, so don't tell me you respect their belief if you don't, you don't respect their belief. So respect their belief is a stupid statement, is not right. Let us go back to zero. Do you respect the story that this is a story coming from God or this is a stupid story? The story of building a school of Harry Potter. <laughs> I thought <laughs> Yeah, this is what it is. They send two angels to what teach magic. For Griffin, though. Griffin, the one. <laughs> My friend, did he send two angels to teach magic, yes or no? That's why the, the Quran says, isn't it? Okay, so this is a question. Did he send two angels to teach magic, yes or no? Based on the Quran, yes. Okay, so is it Hori Buddha or not? <laughs> yeah, man, you're very clever, man. Like, you know, I like you because you, you have a lot of knowledge. Um... But I, I'm studying the gospel now. I've been studying my friend. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Focus with me, please. Focus with me. I, I, fo I focus no. with you. Okay. Mike. So are you are, no, Mike. you are trying to avoid the question. Is this Mike, a story? Is this a story? Right, stupid right, story right. or not? A guy, he's God. He sent two angels to open a, a school for her booter. And before you join the school, you sign a disclaimer. 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 Sign here. This is only a trial. Okay. So we teach you. Please don't practice it, okay? So why he teach them? Why he open the school? So you know, is this, is is this is a stupid like... story? Let me repeat the question for the last time. Is this is a stupid story for you? Make sense or it's a smart story? Doesn't make sense. Look, my approach is different from yours. Like you know, when I, not, debate... I don't care for your approach, my friend. I want an answer. Is it a smart okay. story or a stupid story? Yeah. Uh, that's the difference like, between you and I. Like, you know, I have a different approach, man. One, because when I learn something, I don't care I for your approach. It. I don't care for your approach. I want an answer for me. For me, help me. Is this a story? Is a convincing story? Is a smart story? Or it's not even fit for kids? So either you say to me it's fit for adult, it's a smart story, or you say it's a stupid story. Why you don't choose one? I'm not forcing you to say one of uh, uh, both of them. Choose one. Either you say no, it's, it's good it's, for adults. No, it's not that, mate. Right. It's not that you you put in my between the wall, uh, the sword and the wall. So like you know, like I said, so you have a different approach. I've this is why you are calling like, me. Like, this is why I'm here. You are calling me for a reason, and you said to me, I want you to prove to me the following, right? So I'm helping you now. So I, I want a conclusion of my work. I was cooking for you for mate, the last two I'm hours. I'm not harsh. I'm not harsh. When I learn something, do something. I don't so care if I you are harsh or not. You are not harsh. I am harsh. So I want an answer. Is this a story yeah. make sense for you as an adult, as a mature person, or this is not even good for kids? Mate, like I said to you, I need to get the knowledge, so when I speak to a Muslim... It's I in the front it of you. This is not the question. Who care about a Muslim now? Who care about because, knowledge now? When I it's in the front like, of you. You mate, are an adult. You are an adult reading the story they say for the first time, and you told me you know the story already. So you do not even need me to tell me the story. So I'm asking you as an adult, reading the story in the front of your eyes, does this story make any sense to you? Mate, I need, when I learn things, so take, I can like, you know, Take care, my friend. No, you are wasting my time. You are just Ooh. wasting my time. Like, do you think I'm spending my time here? I need to learn things. Go watch the video and don't call me. If you don't dare to give me an answer, then you don't dare to be a man. Either you say I am with or against. You can't be both. You can't be both. And you are the one who made fun of Muhammad Marina child. And you are the one who said many things. So now suddenly you don't want to say what happened. Your approach, my approach, this is all is garbage. And, and I want to say to people here, never say to somebody, I respect your belief. No, don't say that. This is stupid of you. What if you believe in raping your wife? What if he believe that it's, it's okay for him to, to have sex with the children, like Muhammad? Don't be politically correct. I don't respect your belief. You're an atheist. I don't respect your belief. You are a Muslim. I don't respect your belief. It is a stupid sign. Or let us say it's a sign of a stupidity. And sign of a hypocrisy. If somebody says to you, I respect your belief. I remember once I was sitting with a wife and her husband. Both of them, they are accountant. And they are Jehovah's Witnesses. 
and I was debating them. And when they, be, they became in the corner, things get so hot. She said, please, I respect your belief. I said, I don't respect your belief. They were shocked. I said, why you are being hypocrite to me? Well, if you respect my belief, you know, but my belief is false. Why you respect something false? Who is stupid here? Do you understand me, people? Do you respect a false belief? If you respect a false belief, that means you are false too. I respect your belief. This is idiot talk. I don't. I will never respect a false belief, for it is a false belief. I will never respect a false prophet. False prophet means he's a fraud. He's a con guy. It's the same as the guy who call you or send you text message so he can steal your bank account information. Do you respect him too? He believed that he had the right to take your money. So look what happened. We show that the guy Muhammad, he always, he referred to Pharaoh as an individual. His name is Pharaoh. We showed you that the stupid Muhammad, he think that Haman is the one he is the minister of the Pharaoh, and he is the one who built the tower of the Babylon. We showed you that Muhammad, he think that the, the wife of the Pharaoh, Ramses, her name is Isaiah, when the fact her name is Nefertari. And all of this is still is not a proof for him of anything. So don't waste my time, my friend. You are, you try to stay as a good Muslim. <laughs> I don't respect your belief. Right? Do we have any uh, Muslim? I suppose that I will not stay here for long. <clears throat> I am a Muslim. Here we go. Hmm. He is not online. Maybe it's a Mimi. She called herself Mimi. Read. Read in Matthew, it says women, they have to stay silent. Uh, Abdul, yeah, the women, they have to stay silent if they are talkative. This is a verse about women who speak in the church when they are not supposed to speak. This is not against women. In the Bible, we have judges, women. We have a prophet, women. This verse is not about women to not to speak in the church. This is about not to speak during the church service two women sitting next to each other she is telling her oh yesterday i cooked falafel really i bought a dress yesterday i went with my wife my my is my daughter this is what the verse is talking about otherwise we have women who they are prophets women who they are judges we have mary mary should not speak so false, and not only that, you're a prophet, he treats women. As you see, you Muslim even exchange women. You don't even ask the women if she like to go to a new husband. You just ask the guy to go and sleep with the new wife. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> Have you ever heard of a hippie, stupid religion like this? And you convert to Islam? You say to them, exchange wives? Share women? Go. I have two wives. Go. Go and see one of them. See them. Choose one. The one you like, I will divorce her for you. This is Islam. Do we have any Abdul? 
you know, if a human being, he don't want to be honest, and he don't want to be brave to say the truth, uh, I'm not going to waste my time. But anyway, what we did today with this guy is a great example how people, they play games. They want to talk, uh, they keep talking, going around in a, in a like a circle, you know, like you're in, in nowhere. But the proof in front of us. Is Hura Bhutar's story make sense to you? If this is, if this is what not, even this one, you will not give in your opinion. So what is, what is real about you then? Nothing real is about you. Very simple question. Do the story make sense? Either you say yes or it says no. God, he sent two angels to open a school of Hori Bhutar. Does it make sense to you? He will not answer. Do we have any Abdul? He want to join Harry Potter school. Lord of the Ring. Umbagaram. Huh? Allah, he opened a school of Harry Potter? Yeah, he did. But before you join the school, my friend, you have to sign a disclaimer. This is God. This is the book of God. So, you know, the funny about Mohammedans, the Quran, book of science, Quran teach science, the Quran, blah, 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 science, blah, 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 science. Chapter 18 alone is the most funny, stupid, fairy tale stories ever you can imagine around the world. Prophet Al Khadr, who drank from the fountain of youth, and since then he never died, and he called Al Khadr, which means Mr. Green, because his ass, whatever he sat on, will turn green. Why? Because he sweat. How? He sweat from the water which he drank from the fountain of youth. And then, if he sat in dry grass, his ass will make it green. So they call him Al Khadr, which means green. And Al Khadr, brother, was exist in the funeral of Noah, and he was exist in the funeral of Moses. And he was exist in the funeral of Prophet Muhammad and Abraham. Because this guy, he is alive forever. Why? Because he drank from the fountain of youth. And then the Muslims, they come and they would try to tell us that there is science in Islam. How how you explain to me this Quran discovering the Pharaoh? I'm really amazed of the science of Muhammad. And his fairy tale stories. And you know what? I'm going to go to Bahrain. And because I want to drink from the fountain of youth. And then I will come back to you. I will go live and you will not recognize my voice. Because I will speak as a youth. The Christian prince is here. Hey, Christian prince, what happened? The thought of the God had drunk from the fruit of the water of the life. Christian Prince, it sounds like you're even getting uh, like younger and younger uh, by every minute. Exactly. Right now, that my voice is not coming because I'm saying so thick, so small. I stopped saying, you know, because I noticed I drank too much water and I'm small, getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, Christian Prince, are you there? Stopped, wah, wah, wah. Okay, what, what happened? I drank too much water. <laughs> Fountain of youth. Fountain of life. This is religion. Any Abdul? And if you are wondering where we can find this story, here we go. Let us see. Where is the fountain of youth? At the rock, there was a water spring called Al Hayat, which means life. And none, none came in touch with its water but become alive. 
Tarada, tarada, tarada. Now I'm sure there's many ladies here would love to get this water. And who is the one is telling this story? Prophet of Allah, reported by Ibn Abbas. And what is the title of the story, brother? Prophetic commentary on Quran, Tafsir of the Prophet BBUH. The statement of Allah Most High, say, O Muhammad, shall we tell you the greatest, who is the greatest loser? <laughs> Do we have any Abdul? Hmm? Fountain of youth? Prophet Al Khudr? And then they forgot their whale next to the fountain, and then one drop of water fell on the whale, and then the whale, he just came to life again, and then he took, a, he made a tunnel in the ocean. Imagine, can, we, can you imagine? A tunnel in the ocean and the spring and some some of the water in that spring fall, fall over the fish so it moved and slipped out of the basket and enter the sea like hold on so the fountain is just right away next to the sea how close the fountain is to the sea I mean, we got it, we got it. A drop of water fall over the fish, the whale. I want to know how long it took the, the fish to walk on the ground to go to the sea. And you are telling me about cartoon. And then you ask this guy, you say to him, do you, do you see this makes sense to you? You don't know my approach. For me, I see it differently. <laughs> Your approach. Uh, uh, Ali, Ali, maybe next time, my friend, you can text me now. And next time I can take your call, Ali Reza. Do we have any Abdul? I mean, all the Quran, all the garbage in the Quran, and they come to us with those stories. Do we have any Abdul would like to say something? Any Muslim? Okay, the one who will download the videos, you see the title of the video is Muslims offer their new convert their wives. So you can cut the video, video in the beginning and then cut the conversation alone, make them videos because this video became so long by itself alone. Again, I'm going to now to leave you in peace. And I will be back when we have at least 20,000 view for my video. So if you want me to come back fast, share the link. If I got to 20,000, even today, I will come back again. If we get less, we wait tomorrow. If tomorrow is not 20, the day after. We want to be sure that people are getting the message and you guys are doing little work. Stop being lazy. The Lord, he says work and I will work with you. Lazy people don't count. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we hope that next time we will find uh, Muslims who understand their religion because as you see and the funny you know each Muslim every single Muslim I say to him why you don't call your sheikh after we finish they say to me Christian Prince why you don't debate this guy and that guy our friend give me his Skype I will call him right now give me the Skype of Zakir Naik honest to God I will call him immediately any one of your choice bring me the best of your men and I promise you, I will make them shish kebab. Well, you know, I have more uh, uh, people who watch my video when I'm live, more than Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik go live, he have like a 
700. Here the average is a, a, a 1200, 1300, sometimes 2000 uh, something. So, which is very funny that when we are live, we have a very high view. And obviously YouTube is playing games with us because it doesn't make sense already right now. I have ten, more than 10,000 view. Actually, I have, you know, uh, uh, right now, more than 10,000 in front of me. But then when we finish, we find that we have uh, 3,000 view. It doesn't make sense. But even if YouTube is playing a dirty game with us, people, they can still share the link. So if you like me to come back as fast as you wish, depending on how much you wish me to get back, help us share the link, share the video that people make. And don't forget to make a comment because comment make, and not make comments say thank you, please. This, those are the most comment I don't like. Thank you, CP. And this is the comment. I mean, this is what you got. A guy who was speaking in the video, just shouting, screaming, fighting with those Abdul. You say to him, thank you. Say something about what we said in the topic. Share, share something, speak something. Help people to understand, you know, be part of, of, of the conversation. Thank you. That's it. This is the maximum you can do. So make a real comment. Be a real individual, be a smart person, use your brain. God, he gave you a brain. All of us, we have a brain and we have a gift of God. But there are some people, they have tons of rust on their brain. They don't want to use it. That's why their brain is so expensive, never been used. Not like my brain. It's overused. So when you make a comment, say something useful. Don't tell me thank you. Don't tell me God bless you. I, I, you can say that at the end of the comment. Say something about what this guy said, the guy before him said, the guy before him said, we have many callers, make a real comment. I want to see smart people, educated people join. I want to see people really, they are listening and they are learning and they are thinking when we are talking. Don't be Abdul. We are here to be sure that you guys are not Abdul. We believe without understanding. We don't want that. We don't want people to believe that shaitan is sleeping their nose. That is for the dummies. So when you make a comment, make something real. Isn't it the Lord, he says, from their fruit you shall know them? And where is your fruit? And, and, and not only that, the funny is, I go and then you will find somebody send me a message in Patreon where I can find those verses. So I stay here for hours and then they don't share the links. And the, the funny is, you will find the Christians posting links of Muslims. Christian Prince, can you refute this guy? Because look how smart, how genius they are. They are spreading the Muslim videos. Can you believe it? Christian Prince, can you refute this guy? And then he posts a link for a Muslim Abdul. So now the Muslim Abdul, people will leave my channel to go to watch the Muslim Abdul channel. Genius. Super intelligent. Many people have a brain, but they don't want to use it. Sadly. So what we say, we are victorious. And you will not believe it how much I am blessed in the last week how many messages look like the new year uh, made many people send me messages about them leaving islam i'm really grateful for knowing about those people uh, because most of people who leave islam i don't even receive from them anything uh, I'm, I'm not talking about those who speak to me live on air but there's many they leave islam but they don't say but in the in the last few days uh, i receive uh, a great amount of, of uh, uh, emails in Patreon from uh, ex-Muslims. And I'm really, really happy to hear this, uh, their stories. So, we are doing a great job. And why I say we, 
I mean the true Christians who really care. We, because I believe in we, not I. I believe in we, that we as a Christians, we work together. When I say we, I mean people who really support, people really who care, people who at least they make a comment, because your comment can change the mind of a, of a, of a Muslim, or even can help a Christian to understand. Don't be a mute person. Time goes so fast. People don't like to talk about death, but death is coming. It's going to take you, and you will never be there again. The house I'm living in is not going to be my house. It's going to be the house of somebody else, because I cannot live here forever. Same for you, but those people will be remembered. Their voice will never be mute. Their words will never be mute. Their teaching will never be mute. So be that person, don't be just a number. So the Lord can rem remember you, because this is how he will recognize us. From their fruits, you shall know them. People who have no fruits, they don't have a count, and nobody remember them. The same as the Lord. So I want to say thank you again. I will say again, a happy new year for all of you. I hope that this new year will bring great time, great joy for all people, including Muslims. We love the Muslims. We pray for them. But Muslims, sadly, they follow Muhammad. They don't love us. Sadly, they believe in the stupid Quran where it says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. Obviously, the Quran is the book of Satan. He want to divide us. He want to spread hate between us. And the Quran even don't hesitate to say that Allah has spread hatred between even the Christians. So when the Christians are divided, you are supporting Allah. When you are a Christian and you fight with Catholic and Protestant and Orthodox, you are doing the plan of the devil Allah and the verses in front of you. A true Christian who believe in a true church, and that church is not a name. That is the church of Christ, which all of us, Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, doesn't matter. For all of us believe in one God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. For us, we believe in the resurrection of the Messiah. We believe in his coming back. And we believe that there's no one will save us except him. True Christian is united to Christians. Divided Christians are following the devil. The more you are divided, the more you are devilish. And the more you are away from the Lord himself. So love your brother in Christ from other church. If the Lord, he order you even to love the Muslims, how dare you not to love your brother in Christ who believe in the Messiah, who accept him as a savior. People who don't love their Christian and sister brothers, they are no Christians because they fail the test. If you've been ordered to love your enemy, but you did, you cannot even love your brother. How false you are. Stay away from those who divide you, for they are serving the devil Muhammad. Divide and conquer. United, we are strong. Divided, we will be conquered. And when we say we are united, we say we are united with the Messiah. The Bible says there's no Greek, there's no Hebrew, there's no free, there's no slave. For all is one by Christ. I mean to that. So Christ, he unite us. The devil, he divide us. So choose to be with whom. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Happy New Year again. And let us hope more people will leave Islam after watching those videos and the call of the Muslims. Remember one thing. I will be back as soon as you help to bring more of you for this video. I will come back immediately if you can get to 20,000 view. And I say, some people, they say to me, is it really important how many? Yes, it's important. And I will tell you why. Because we deserve it. We deserve it.
we have knowledge here. People who have zero knowledge, they got a view by tens of thousands. So why people who have a lot of knowledge, people who change life of people, they don't get still support. So either you care or you don't. I'm here doing my duty. Are you doing yours? Thank you very much. And see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. And we prove it every day. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 